Hello guys, you're welcome again to another After Effects tutorials and today I want to show you how you can create a gaming logo animation like this one. Audio jungle. Audio jungle. So support me on this one, do not forget to like this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel and then turn on the notification, then come back, let's get started. Now in Adobe After Effects, I'm starting with a simple composition of 10 seconds for the duration. I already have my logo and background imported and laid into the timeline. So let me start by pre-composing the logo. Control shift c on your keyboard to do that then you name this logo holder and then hit ok let's move our time indicator to 7 seconds forward in time then hit s on the keyboard to reveal the scale keyframe and set a keyframe then change the value to 80 now move your time indicator back to 0 and change the value of the scale to 200 easy easy your keyframes Pick the ellipse tool and make sure no layer is selected and then draw a circle like this. Align it to center. Set the stroke to none. Move your time indicator to 4 seconds forward in time and set a keyframe for the scale. And then move your time indicator back to zero and set the scale value to zero. Now move the anchor point to the top left corner of the screen. Add a turbulent displacement effect to the shape layer. Change the amount to 120. Make size 30. And change the complexity to 3. Move your time indicator to 4 seconds forward in time. And set a keyframe for the evolution. And move your time indicator back to 0. And set the evolution value to negative 10. Select the shape layer and the logo and create a duplicate. Move them up and then hide those duplicated layers. Then select the previous logo, toggle your timeline, then set the track mat to alpha mat. That is going to give you this. Now unhide the shape layer on the top and then set the fill for this shape layer to none. And set the stroke color increase the thickness to 20 add a glow effect duplicate the glow effect increase the intensity and radius duplicate the glow effect again and also increase the radius Duplicate the shape layer again and then remove one glow effect. Change the color of the stroke to white. Reduce the stroke width to 7. Select both shape layer, then pre compose it, then hit OK. Move the duplicated logo layer, unhide it, and move it on top of the bone. Then set the track mat of the bone to alpha mat. And now if you preview, this is what you have. As it burns, we need to add some spark effect. Right click on your timeline, go to new and create a new solid layer. We're going to name this spark. Then hit OK. Add CC particle system 2. Change bed rate to 0 0.2. And longevity to 0 0.3. Expand the producer. Set X to 0 and Y to 8. Expand the physics. Set animation to fractal explosive. Set velocity to 0 0.3. Change the red color to white. Now we're going to animate the producer. So let's go to this point where the burning just starts. We're going to go up and set the producer position and create a keyframe. Then 
then let's move to four seconds where the bond completed somewhere around here and then move the producer to this point now hit t on your keyboard and set opacity when it gets to this point set a keyframe for the opacity and then move back to this point where it finish burning and then set the opacity to zero beautiful duplicate the spark layer select the first logo layer below right here and the shape layer and pre-compose it now move the duplicated spark right below it so let's move our time indicator to where we can still see the spark change bed rate to 2 and change longevity to 1.5 expand the producer we're gonna leave this as it is so expand the physics set the velocity to 0 0.5 and let's set the gravity to negative 1 let's set the resistance to 63.8 expand the particles and we're going to change this to lens fade we are trying to create the smoke from the spark so add a fill effect and change the fill color to gray we're going to add cc vector blur let's collapse some of these options effect right here so that we can see the option for our cc vector blur change the type to constant length and we're going to change the amount to 214 and let's change the smoothness to 13 then i'm still going to duplicate the cc vector blur effect i will i will change this type to natural then i will reduce this smoothness to seven and this is what you have if you like you can drop the opacity so let me do that a bit so i'm gonna adjust the opacity when the smoke starts fading i'm just gonna move this last uh, first keyframe inward duplicate the logo layer again then i'm gonna hide the duplicated copy select the bottom one and add a tint effect unhide the top one and add a linear wipe effect move to this point right here set a keyframe for the transition completion hit you on your keyboard to reveal the keyframes you can move it forward a bit like this then come back right here and then set the completion to 100 let's move in between the keyframes so that we can set our angle you can hide the bottom logo layer so that you can see the top one i'm just gonna rotate the angle for the wipe something like this and then increase the feather beautiful right click on your timeline go to new and add a new adjustment layer add a cc light sweep to this adjustment layer move your time indicator to the about this point set a keyframe for the center and move it below right here then move your time indicator forward to this point and then set the center to somewhere right here hit you to reveal your keyframes go back to the first keyframe i want to adjust the, the the position so all i'm going to do now is to adjust both keyframes for the wipe to make sure this aligns together the movement aligns with the with the light right here beautiful you can see it is happening at the same time now so what i'm gonna do now is to select this uh, logo holder layer duplicate it i'm gonna move it above the adjustment layer then i'll select the adjustment layer and set the track mark to the logo that is gonna cut the light off so that it will only show on top of the logo now unhide your main logo
beautiful select everything except the background pre-compose it and call it all elements make sure you move all attributes to the new composition then you hit ok so i'm gonna duplicate this and make the bottom one a 3d layer i'm gonna hit r so that i can rotate this i'm rotating it on the x axis then i will pull it down to somewhere right here so i'm gonna add a gaussian blur to this layer i will increase the blurriness to 150 so i'll make the opacity 15 i will make the scale 150 so let's run preview everything we have created so far And this is how you can create a gaming logo reveal as if it is burning in Adobe After Effects. If you want the project file, you can download it from the link in the description and use it for whatever purpose you want to use. If you learned something new on this video, please hit the like button. That will enable the algorithm to suggest this to more people. If you have any question, please feel free to ask me in the comment section and I'll reply to all questions as quick as I can. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. You can support me in any way. You can give me super thanks. Subscribe to my membership, whatever way you want to support me with. Even if you share the video, that is also a huge support and it is highly appreciated. If you like the video, leaving a comment is all a support. So in whatever way you are able to support me, I highly appreciate you. So until I see you again on the next one, my name is SSB Otaru from Motion Digit Studios.